fools of a hive, ever expanding. Fools! They cannot be contained. Welcome back to more Shiny Solus Plays Moons of Madness. We're in the uh, We're in the Icarus complex. Uh all the way underground. It's a bit too loud for me, hang on. There we go, that should be okay. Well, this is completely overgrown. Are those plants that have spikes? Yeah, wow, okay. Oh, oh, that's nasty. Oh, bad plant. Alright, there's nothing in this room. Nope. Nasty plant. Bad plant. Bad. Oh, those are interesting blue glowing rocks. Okay, what's on this PC? Chandra. Jesus. Orochi has leverage on everyone. We have obtained the files requested and placed them in onto this console for re for review. The files included deta detailed avenues of leverage against the Invictus crew. If there is need to put into place additional surveillance me measures, we are prepared to do so. We wish your visit a pleasant one. Semper Service Control. Requests. Ina, Shane, Josie, Declan, Lucas. Interesting. Let's start with Ina then. At age 27, Ina Volkova was directly involved in Avaria Vikrichiv. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Which gained significance internationally as the incident at Krisha. Uh, for several years, she had worked at a decommissioned military airbase a few miles outside of Krisha, Belarus. Belarus, sorry. Thousands of the small city were killed by an explosion at the base. An explosion meant to cover up a horrific containment breach of an alien substance being used in her research. What? Alien substance? Are we talking like alien as in from outer space already? So you knew she was someone who partook in an experiment that involved a certain substance and that got out of control and you decided to give her access, special access, and sole power over the plant stuff. Uh, why? This seems like you could have predicted this nonsense from miles away. <sighs> okay. The high-profile trial uncovered several classified experiments attributed to Volkova with high-ranking officials within the government denying knowledge of her research. Before a verdict could be delivered, Volkova fled to Belarus and claimed asylum at the Russian Federation Embassy in Tokyo. Stationed at the embassy, exiled in extradition, Ina was unable to continue her research. We offered her the opportunity to work without constraints. She accepted under the terms of the strictest NDA and forced return to Belarus upon disclosure. While her ethical integrity is questionable, her skill is undeniable. Recommend vigilance, surveillance and determination of trust upon results. You could have predicted the same thing would happen. Oh my gosh, I, I don't understand. So what's about me? 
Shane Newhart. Minor childhood trauma documented by licensed family psychiatrist. Fear of abandonment, mild social anxiety. Graduated from Brown 2046, GPA 2.9, PhD, Miskatonic me Mechanical Engineering 2052. Of peculiar note, created a practical equation to explain the theoretical underpinnings of Yang Mills and the mass gap in his sophomore year. The apocryphal claim apocryphal claim is that it was made in a single weekend, otherwise unremarkable. Dr. Newhart is key in our understanding of Cynthia Newhart's studies and possible whereabouts. Recommended recommend continued surveillance of home and office, potential asset for leverage if Newhart ever reemerges from isolation. Recommend hiring at local Manticore office engineering position. Accept all salary requirements. Push for more information on Cynthia Newhart. Josephine Wilcox. First Lieutenant Josephine Wilcox, Special Forces Distinguished Service Cross, received 2052, January 16th, 2055, Court Martial Determination. February 23rd, 2055, dishonorable discharge, record commuted, evidence expunged. Commander Wilcox resigned her post as of February 22nd, 2055, retaining her exemplary record and citing personal reasons for her exit. As per her contract, Wilcox began employment at her California-based Manticore facility under the strictest NDA. Record of discharge. al Mavit, Yemen. July 15, 54, friendly fire incident reported six undercover agents killed during strategic raid of suspected uranium smuggling operation. Wilcox led team suffered zero casualties, facility neutralized. Alpha Camp 17th, inciting incident of Commander Wilcox court martial proceedings, multiple witnesses. After brief altercation, Josephine Wilcox discharged a pi pistol at Range of less than one meter, causing a perforating wound into the skull of commanding officer Major Corey Houston. Wilcox turned and fired a second and third gunshot, gunshot which entered the chest and shoulder of Captain Alan Sheffield. Before team members could advance and pull Wilcox away, another two shots were fired, critically wounding Captain Jaden Allen in the fine grind. <laughs> Final, that sounds painful. I wasn't laughing because you know okay um <clears throat> let's skip that final shots were discharged into the ceiling as officers on site wrestled her firearm away and detained her major houston and captain sheffield died immediately captain jaden allen died in transit to medical facilities video evidence of the incident is retained at control her squad defended her actions, echoing the sentiment that the officers in question knowingly caused a friendly fire scenario through mismanagement. Commander Wilcox will receive no punitive actions for these events so long as we exert our influence. Huh. Okay. Delapore! Declan! Masters of Mechanical Engineering, Minor Linguistics, California Institute of Technology, 2054. Incident Report. Trafficking in heroin. Possession of controlled substance. Involuntary manslaughter. Oh no, Declan, what did you do? He only served five months of his five-year sentence. Wow, okay. Declan Delapore has a history of substance abuse, having self-admitted to rehabilitation centers twice. His court sentence closely coincides with divorce proceedings which were finalized in 2048. On November 13th, 2049, Declan Delapore was admitted to a mental health facility for evaluation after an attempted suicide. Orochi recruitment has confirmed that Delapore has remained clean for over 12 years as of January 1st, 2062, during which time he completed his degree with honors. Oh, that's good. He's experienced significant difficulties upon graduation due to his incarceration and Orochi's offer of unemployment of employment has been contingent on his willingness to remain secrecy. To remain secrecy. Delapore has a highly motivated individual is a highly mo oh my gosh, what is it he's reading today? 
is a highly motivated individual, and Orochi has made arrangements to erase records of his dark past. Before we go to Lucas, though, it's... I understand a shady company like Orochi wants to have people that they can kind of exploit to a degree with um, certain things, like with Declan's trafficking, but I still don't understand why they have Ina. As, as I already stated, with the whole... She was... She was already in a situation where containment breach happened on Earth. And I'm sure there are other scientists, right, as well, that do what Volkova does. Or at least, like, at least one other one. Something similar or just as good ambitions or whatever, you know? So... There must be at least one other one what that doesn't hasn't done what she's done but then maybe th there is they just don't have anything nasty on them to use against him but still i mean whatever i don't know let's l read the last one lucas oh, lucas what the fuck what can I read first before you respond, Shay? <laughs> Lucas van Buren, several incidents. 2nd of August 58, final restraining order. Mary Richardson, 11th of February 53. Oh, it's it, right. Temper. Oh, oh, hang on. So the first one is an offense violating of restraining order. Sentence 30 days, psychiatric evaluation. The second one is a final restraining order. Abigail White. Third thing is temporary restraining order Tia Anders. And the last one is for Mary Richardson. These are all different women. Let's see. Lucas, what did you do? Dr. Van Buren's psychopathic... Uh, no, sorry. Sociopathic tendencies were well documented during youth therapy. Lucas displays difficulty reading emotions and a lack of empathy for others in social settings. It notes that he was admitted to therapy after his parents discovered him performing a vivisection section on the family cat. Oh no, he's basically... A serial killer in the making then. High potential for it. Dr. Van Buren's contributions to the field of philology are vast. His dedication helped trace the evolution of Central American language to its origination point. Most recently, he has helped translate Orochi's newly discovered ancient texts and star maps. Orochi has maintained surveillance evidence of Dr. Van Buren's activities during the disappearances of Abigail White and Tia Anders in 54 and 55, respectively. The video sh shows local Lucas, Lucas, Lucas violently kidnapping and assaulting the women in his home, choking them until they suffocate and mutilating the bodies and disposing of all the evidence. Hey, what did I say? The chances of a violent altercation are slim, well within acceptable risks. <clears throat> and Va Dr. Van Buren has seen the recordings. He will accept any assignment given with no questions asked. He is our most leverageable asset. Lucas, really? Oh no. Uh, let's get out of this uh, this room. Uh, this way, right? What's that noise? Also, I don't know if you can hear it in the recording in the video, but um. I think the garbage truck is coming by right now, so that might make a lot of noise. I can hear it through my headphones. I really need better headphones for this. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. 
it. Well, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. Shame there's no reflection. Shame. Okay, so we know the monsters here. There's... It's, it's so loud for me again, the game. Even still. There we go. I hope that helps. Weeping lights. Radioactive stuff. Okay, what's this? Rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. Space rocks. Lots of rocks. Oh, there's an artifact there. Okay. Why is that in a separate... contained thing? Oh. Oh no. Okay, well... Guess I'll go in here. I'm... I'm... <laughs> my hands are strained because I know there's probably gonna be another chase scene at some point. There has to be, right? And my... my hand... my left hand is already cramping up from hovering over the the shift key for running but I'm gonna get stabbed by that what Why did that hurt? I tried to run over it when I when it wasn't showing the spikes, whatever I own. Where do I go here? Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I like the design, I guess. I just don't like it. If that makes sense. I'm gonna keep my flashlight on. Is that gonna... Oh, yeah. Go away. No. Hope I don't have to run through this, because I'm so gonna... Uh, what is that? What this? Oh no. Oh no. Those are those are baby legs. Uh uh. No no no. Well I might as well look at it, right? <gasps> what is that? I don't know. It's kinda gross, I'll be honest. I totally agree with you, Shane. It is uh, 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 mm. what's that? That that kinda That kind of... I don't know if it, it's intentional or not, but it, it reminds me of uh, the face hugger. Like, it's... it's. I see it's not a face hugger. It, it looks different. I mean, the face hugger's design is kind of, I guess, simple in a way. And look outside, am I gonna get jumped? No. I so where did I come from originally? Did I go down already or not? I don't think so. Oh, I I came from there. Right? Yeah, I think. Or there. I don't I don't I'm gonna keep on going, I guess. 
I don't like the setting at all. I have to go through there, right? Jump me. It's not there anymore. Oh man, I should have stayed to see what happened. Was it if it poofed or if it would come on after me until I ran away from it? Oh! <laughs> okay, <laughs> it was it was a a droid. Oh gosh. Oh no, I hate this. Why are these here? Checkpoint reached. Why? Oh, this looks cool, though. I like how this looks. Ugh, I mean, it looks gross also, but it's so nicely designed, I guess, is the word? Is that the term? I don't know. Leave me alone, plant. Leave me alone, plant. Leave me alone. Okay, garbage truck outside. Could you stop? <laughs> It was like a loud bang. I really hope on one hand it's on the recording because that <laughs> that made me jump. Oh. Oh. This turned bad. You're trembling, little one. Let me swaddle you in the viscera. I I walk back. I walk back so I wouldn't get out of my head. I <laughs> I I immediately when I got the warning I'm like, "Okay, I'm going to walk back." And it just it's so unforgiving. Holy cow. I hope the checkpoint isn't too far away. Uh-oh. Whoa. Let's do that again. I I'm actually gonna walk right through it to see if I can just get to the other side. Oh. Stop it! Get out of my head! You couldn't crack open your helmet like a walnut. Yet it remains intact, and my voices will still. I'm not wearing a helmet. Not in the spaces we know, but in between. Oh, okay, so maybe I didn't die from that, but just from being in that stuff in general. What's this? Use. Okay, what's here? We can go here first. Am I gonna get jump scared? So that's an extra of a hand. Is there anything else that I can... Hmm... What's in there? Oh. I I can't really go anywhere, so I might as well uh head to the other side, see if there's anything interesting there. Find the door code. Okay, this is getting weird, I'll be honest. What happens if I use this? Oop. Access denied. A hand scanner. Looks like it opens a door to an elevator. Only discarded pieces block the path. 
What are you trying to tell me, voice? Anyways, I probably have to not only find the co- Maybe there's a hand in this room. Cause, does- is that the morgue? Yeah, I probably have to get a hand and then use it on the- on that. So, first I have to go in here to get the door code. I'm guessing that's what needs to be done. Spendable assets to Orochi. Wasn't enough to know all our secrets. Well, they can't leverage us, they'll just replace us. The Icarus Pro. Why is there a dark um, banner over the top? That wasn't there at, on the other PCs, was it? Oh well. The Icarus Project is authorized to enact a contingency plan in case of unforeseen circumstances that may put the Invictus crew at risk. A replica of the individual will be made and preserved until a severe violation has occurred. So a clone? Severe violations of company policy include the following. Unauthorized transmission of operations information to an outside source regardless of content. Verbal threat of intent to control or sabotage mission objectives or company equipment. Homicide. Witnessing a homicide. <laughs> Wait, so if someone kills someone else and you see that, you're, <laughs> you're also violating it. What? Okay. Oh, I understand because if you see a murder happen and then the clone of that person who was killed and also the killer replaced, you'd also be like, wait, what? And then you might question it. So you you sh have to be replaced as well. I think that's the logic there. Sustaining a fatal or crippling injury. Witnessing the retrieval or release of clone subject. Okay, please, <laughs> please review proper safety guidelines before retrieval or release of cloned individual. Discretion is of the utmost importance. Failure to follow protocol guidelines will result in immediate termination. Sustaining a fatal or crippling injury. I wonder if any of the crew has already gotten that. Because I remember that doctor list of things that were given to the patients. I don't know though. Could, could not be the case. Status update. Cloning successful organic tissue shows no sign of deterioration through advanced aging process. Memory implantation through nocturnal brain scan completed. Yeah, so we wouldn't be able to tell, of course, if we would be a clone. So... Hang on. There are five pods. I'm guessing it goes from left to right. I could be wrong. The first one should be Ina Volkova, but that looks like a male body to me. Two is Delaport Declan, also male body. Then three is Shane. Seems more feminine in build. The fourth one seems to be male, Lucas, okay. The fifth one should be female then. But, um, I mean, of course, people can have different body types. It's just... Yeah, the fifth one seems female. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, there's actually name tags under the things. Holy shit. That's, that's all of us. The entire Invictus crew. Are we the originals? The copies. Exactly. So yeah, it, 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 it it's not pod one to pod five left to right. It's okay. But gee, you all have the same height and body build, huh? <laughs> I don't like that. Like even, I, I don't get why, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna nitpick this. I don't get why Josephine, who's, you know, commanding the military and whatnot, has a similar body pose to, uh, you know, this scientist pers 
person. What was that? Oh, it's just glowing things. I mean, I'm not saying it's not possible. I just think it would be interesting to have different... What's that? To have different um, body types, that's all. Is that where- yeah, that's where I came from. I just went in a circle. Of course that's what I did. Project Icarus. We are experimenting with a substance phenomenon entity, oftentimes called the filth, what Dr. Volkova prefers to call Z-Path. Each sample's tightly contained and weakened with a particular regimen of radiation as per the Icarus protocols. Okay, the goal of this experiment is to see if the effects of this preternatural contaminant are the same on cloned human tissue and cloned hybrid human tissue as on normal human tissue. If the effects are not the same, how do they differ? Oops, sorry. Today we applied minute amounts of the filth on cloned cells using the safety protocols and observed. Effects were largely similar with the molecules of the contaminant attacking the cells. However, the process moved more slowly than observed before. The filth has escaped. I've sealed my safety suit and performed all the emergency protocols. I've injected the radiated serum as outlined in the procedures. The side effects are intense but mundane and far better than the alternative. How did this happen? There was no breach. I think the theory that the filth flows even undulates along dimensions outside of our perceived free may have merit. I've sent for help. I'm not trying to panic. I'm trying not to panic. I'm recording the find in findings this mishap affords. The voices continue. I ignored them at first, congratulated myself on my rationalism. But then the voices learned to mimic my voice and I thought they were me and I was the voices. No, that doesn't make sense. The radiation must be working. My limbs have begun to do things on their own, but only when I'm not looking. I have to stare at my limbs very carefully or they misbehave. I've made a careful regimen of making sure to not look at any one body part for more than seven seconds. I have to keep watch on them, except for my right arm. Good arm. I'm a scientist. Scientist. Okay. Oh, what's this? Whoa! Cut off arm today! <laughs> right arm, good arm. Only uncorrupted part, pristine. It will be pristine forever. Stored good arm in the morgue. Code... I'm going to write that down. 9510. I'm a scientist. Will lock myself in padded room. Everyone is safe. Scientist. Scientist, 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 scientist. So you, wait, you cut off your good arm. The only thing that wasn't corrupted. Right? That's what I get from it. Am I going to get spooked on the way? Maybe by the clones? Considering why else would they be there, right? No? Something else will spook me? I'm sure. Shut up, Doris. Okay, I'll do that later. I actually want to check the padded cells thing first. Just in case. I, I didn't walk up up close just in case there would be a, a jump scare, but uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe we can see someone. Okay, so 
I'm guessing he was in here, but he's out now, right? Or not? This door is closed, so maybe... Hmm. I don't trust it. Nope. So yeah, I need to go in here. I don't know why you said that, lady, but, you know. It, it felt like I was crouching for a minute. I don't know why. Why is this light flashing? Why is there a checkpoint? Hmm. Which one would it... What the... Okay. Would it be this one? No. Nope. No, you don't have to... I already saw that there's nothing in there. Ah, there's gonna be a jump scare. Oh, look, it's oh, the hand. That's disgusting. Are you... Oh. Yeah, but also the fact that it's... It doesn't even seem like a clean cut. Which I would think it would be clean if you have all that doctor's equipment around. But, oh no, that must have been paid. Okay, let's get spooked. Oh yeah, let's close... No, let's close that. You're gonna keep looking at... Okay, what's in here? Nothing. Okay, robot dude, keep lying there, okay? It's it's fine. You don't need to worry about me. I know what they're doing, but it's still stressful. Open, 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 open. Go, 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 go. He might break through the glass though, that's why I want to run. Oh, that scared me. Please grab the pulse. Strangely, it tugs at the tides of the mind. It pulls the planet apart. Do you feel it? Nope, and honestly, I don't really want to. My mind awakened up to the power, aching for the pollinator bat. What? What can I see here? Okay. Is this a decontamination thing? I found command center. Eight headed monster. Unauthorized access. Unauthorized access. Security en route. Oh no. Why? Locked in. What are they keeping here? Meeting at 512? That's oddly specific. Can I check anything else before uh, security comes? What was this? So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. Genesis 323. 
I, hang on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna, uh... What was that? Genesis... 3.23. Just in case. Because there was the board meeting at 5.12 and now there's... Genesis... Um, three twenty-three. Okay. Is there anything else? Anything else? That's gonna open up. I know it. Also, how did you? Hmm. And now there's also four twenty-three. I wonder. Oh, and there's something to check there. But I'm first writing down four, four. 23. There's a board meeting at 512. Would that be <laughs> soon? <laughs> uh, nothing here. There's a camera for the board meeting. New Eden. New Eden. <laughs> Orochi is planning on building a city here. A failsafe. There is no escape. The dream will consume them. They are inevitable. Okay, let's check this, shall we? But I, uh, I actually have a bad feeling because there's no other w way to go, right? Except the way I came back. So the yeah. The CEO of Orochi was here. It makes no sense. Um, uh, that which No, it won't be for 24, uh, 23, because that, that would be so-called the real time, right? So either... I'm going to go first with the Genesis one. Free... Wait, no, that would be then O3, right? <sighs> I wish I could just type it in with my numbers. <laughs> Number keypad thing. Okay, five. Ah, five twelve. Okay, so is it f oh four twenty three? It's probably a four letter word. A word. I should look around for some clues. Word. Well, wouldn't it be Eden then? You could have said that before. There we go. <laughs> An emergency failsafe if Project Eclipse is released. If I can lower the shield, I can get out of this room. Ah! Status quarantine blast doors active magnetic stasis field online. Last update, 13th of July. The fragment has become agitated. The Workers are unable to resist its communications. They scratch at the walls, run through the complex, reduced to a wild animalistic frenzy. I was able to close the chamber and enact the highest protocols, but I can hear the echoes ring in my ears. I see the crew of the Cyrano. I've never seen them before, but I know who they are with all my being, and they stare through cracked helmets, the filth re reaching out towards me. I can't stay here. The eclipse has been shuttered. I've activated the proper protocols. I doubt they will be enough. Doors will automatically unlock in the event that subject of Project Eclipse is released. I'm, I'm really trying to think hard what Eclipse is. Is that the creature walking around? Project Symmetry. Don't get to be the same person after they get in. Um, okay. Project Symmetry. The numbing agent used in Project Eclipse is uh, to keep the fragment under control is created from the strange metal powering the machine in the alien ruins. The numbing agent used in Project Eclipse. Okay. Since the active mechanism for sedation is poorly understood... We have taken the precaution of stockpiling a large amount of metal on board the Invictus. 
In the event of an emergency, the Invictus can be launched. A self-guiding rocket has been attached to the payload. It can be triggered with a code phrase once the Invictus safely clears the atmosphere. Communications specialist Delapore was asked, uh, tasked, <laughs> tasked with loading the payload and setting up the detonation trigger. Due to the sensitivity of the operation and his location at the off-site communication disk, he is considered the operative with the most chance of success in case of a catastrophic event. What? Oh. He alone knows the trigger word and will use it as his discretion. So we need Declan to tell us the word. Okay. Emergency protocol. Father, the Cyrano has crashed. Something happened. An EMP? We could not analyze it in time. The filth has reacted violently and unpredictably, spreading like a cancer across the entire base. The dreamer fragment has sent the workers into panic, searching for a way to escape. The security system has been triggered. The entire base has been compromised. I've shut down Project Eclipse. An emergency kill signal has been sent to shut down communication via Angelus. We will leave no trace. Temper service control. Yeah, so... This was indeed all happening just before I got here. Cyrano location report. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Satellite Cyrano. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Immortal engine. Father, as you know, we owe a great debt to the work of Dr. Sinfi Neohart. This site was chosen based on her later work. Notes and research kept under the strictest clearance. While her exhaustive library of equations and scrolled symboli oop, symbology has been daunting, our analysis still continues to see results. Most recently in the acquisition of two recent items. You are already aware of the fragment of a dreamer which we've recovered. Research continues into the significance of this fragment and how it tries to communicate. Using the magnetic energy signatures first recorded by um, Mudson's expedition to Antarctica, we were able to triangulate the location within kilometers. Through excavations of Site 9, the team is excited to announce that we have uncovered an actual Gaia engine on Mars. Further exploration in the chamber containing the engine has been halted and we defer to your judgment. We await your determination. I'm guessing a... <clears throat> The only thing I can imagine with a Gaia engine is that it's like a terraforming machine. Which could help them with their project New Eden. Anyways, an authorized message. Pounding, muffled, talking. This is Trevor Graham, commander of Serena 1. An EMP fried our systems and we are currently hurtling towards Mars at approximately 50 meters per second. Screw protocol, screw Rochi. It wasn't hours after they sent us the coordinates and I could see it in everyone's eyes. Dr. Baduri drew the short straw when the heat sealed controls malfunctioned. We're not equipped for a mission like this. Command knew it. It's a stupid report crew. But we follow procedure. After 20 minutes, he stopped responding to comms. We tried to reel him in, but his face... When he turned, his entire mask was covered in blackness. Just a spider webbing of black oil across the entire thing and leaking out into the void. It cracked straight through the damn helmet. Constanza grabbed his arm and that crap, it crawled up her suit, wrapped around, squeezing itself inside. That pounding, the airlock, I couldn't let them back in. The infection. Just being near it made my temple seef. They're all infected. Doesn't matter, though. The damn hatch won't close. Any time now, we're gonna bust apart and rain down in pieces on the Martian desert. Pierce and Vogel are lucky. They're still asleep in their pods, won't feel a thing. I'm taking it down with me, all of it. This is the Sirena 1 about to enter the Martian atmosphere on a secret mission to help stake a claim. They don't care about the lives they lose to do it. You hear me, Orochi? The whole world is gonna see this thing. The whole damn world will know. Okay. But here's my question. They they came from Earth or something. Maybe not Earth. That might take too long. But they were definitely 
entering Mars's atmosphere. How how did that stuff get there? Well, I'm done reading. I'm getting out of here. I wonder if those consoles have anything to do with Project Eclipse. How do I activate Project Eclipse? The clock is stuck on 423. Do I do I have to do something with these numbers? I can't do anything with that. So it's stuck on the on the oh okay project eclipse. Stasis activated. Enter activation code for project eclipse phase two. Warning, all employees should evacuate upon phase two initialization. Use last. Communication with the dreamer requires a sensory deprived environment. Even for you, use these settings. I'm going to communicate? Okay, well that's gonna be in the next episode. Haha! <laughs> um, this game has a lot of reading. I don't mind. It might not make for an interesting playthrough. I don't know. But I do like to read and get into the story like that and also theorize myself what might be going on. So I don't know. What you think? I hope you've enjoyed it though. Hope to see you in the next one. Good night and goodbye.